Hello everyone. Um, welcome to the Foundation Studies webinar. My name is Anna and I'm a Relationship Manager at RMIT Training. I'd like to welcome you and thank you for coming this evening to the presentation. We hope that you'll find it very useful and we hope that you're as excited as we are about uh, what's to come. The Foundation Studies uh, team leaders will be speaking to you this evening about their streams and their programs. For those of you who haven't already visited RMIT or been past our city campus, there's a shot of uh, a couple of the buildings from RMIT in the city. So we all know that there are quite a few universities within Australia that offer Foundation Studies programs. So why should you choose RMIT? Well, RMIT really is a global institution. We are ranked the top in the top 1% of universities around the world, and we have more than 450 internationally recognized programs uh, for, for you to choose from. For many students, foundation studies is the first step along the pathway to RMIT University, and this slide shows you the entry requirements as well as the options for further study once you have completed your Foundation Studies program at, at RMIT. You will hear a lot tonight from the team leaders about the academic qualities of their programs, um, but we also wanted to tell you about the support services that are available to all of the students. We know from lots of experience that a happy student is usually a successful student. And that means that the student is attending all of their classes and is therefore more likely to pass all of their assessment. And we know how that's important for everyone. So Foundation Studies teachers and the student experience team uh, provide a lot of mechanisms for students to feel comfortable and connected while they're studying. This is all being provided online at the moment and it's all working very well. There are a lot of services that RMIT Foundation Studies give for students to help them feel like they have people supporting them and looking after them while they're studying with us. And of course, everyone likes to have friends and have a little bit of fun once the study is all finished. And so we do what we can to help with that as well. And we can see here, some of the quotes from our students. Some of them are current students, some of them are alumni, the so students who've already finished the Foundation Studies program. And they're telling us about how they've received help from their teachers. And that's particularly important when they're living away from their family. We get a lot of feedback from our students telling us that the Foundation Studies program helps them to adjust to their life in Melbourne and also helps them to succeed in their study, both in Foundation Studies and, and further on down the track. Why should you study Foundation Studies at RMIT? Well, the Foundation Studies program really is a fundamental course that helps students to feel like they're, they've started on their pathway to RMIT University. And in fact, some of the classes are held at the city campus of RMIT. The Foundation Studies program prepares students so that they're ready for life and for work. The teachers are all very professional. They're professionals who are engaging, who are empathetic to the students' needs, and they're supportive. Foundation Studies teachers understand, well, we all understand that for many students, being away from home and, and living in a new country, is it's a big change. but students and parents can rest assured that there is a lot of academic support that's provided and we encourage all of the students to make the most of all of those things. We know that all of our students want to pass. That's one of the most common questions that we hear is about passing and assessment. It's important for everyone and assessment can be a scary thing. So there's lots of progress checks along the way to make sure everybody's doing okay. And if there is a problem, we identify it early and the students and the teachers work together to solve it. So regardless of the stream that you choose, 
foundation studies programs will give you a lot of study skills that you need to survive and thrive at university in Australia. All of the skills that are listed on the slide here are important skills that you're going to use at university and further beyond that in the workplace. Not only do we cover academic skills, but there's also a lot of soft skills involved in the program. And these are all really, really valuable skills that can be transferred to all parts of your life. Uh, it's delivered full time, two semesters, and usually runs from February until the end of November. In each semester, you cover four courses, so eight courses in total. And generally that means around 21 contact hours or classroom hours per week. As many of you know, RMIT has four foundation study streams and RMIT is the only university in Melbourne to offer the art design and architecture stream, which is of course one of RMIT's strengths. You can choose the best stream for you and for your plans. Um, and the team leaders will now tell you a little bit more about each of the streams. Hi, um, it's nice to be here. So thanks, thanks for that. Um, now, art design and architecture is uh, one of the courses, that, one of the streams that we have in foundation studies. So why should you choose um, RMIT, art design and architecture? So sort of these are some of the advantages um, of RMIT at RMIT uh, for art design and architecture. What can you study in art and design? We have four courses per semester. So you have the top courses are the core courses that you will be taking, and then you can select one of the uh, one out of two electives that we offer. This gives you a high a overall broad skill base uh, knowledge. To, for, to that you can move into your higher ed course. Why should you study ADA at RMIT? Skills acquired um, during your time in foundation studies at RMIT often include many things like drawing, design, presentation, conceptual skills, presentation skills, development of work in visual diaries is a resource that students take with them and continue to use with them studying within their higher ed course. This gives you um, the uh, skills to de develop a diverse folio, which you then have for your lifetime. So these are some examples of um, some of the students work from the drawing and production skills first semester course. We have drapery and life drawing skills. They're fundamental skills taught to the students and teaching students to see light, shadow and many shades between is an important skill that is used throughout any creative career. Our teaching is individualised as everyone has different levels of skills and knowledge. Teachers provide individual feedback for each of their students throughout the class time. Here are some of the uh, art works that were from last year's exhibition from our students. We have an exhibition every uh, at the end of each their final semester to exhibit the students work. Said I am the team leader for the general program. Who should choose the general stream? If you're a person and you can see your career in communication, maybe advertising or media, public relations, journalism. Um, maybe you're into helping people and you'd like to become a psychologist. And then the general stream is the stream for you. Why should you choose the general stream? I'm going to let you read through this, these quotes from Marie, who is one of the students in the general program. And as you can see, it's the teachers that stand out for her and the bond that she developed with her teachers because they supported her and they worked with her. Um, they encouraged her and they encourage all the students to inquire and to question. The benefits of the general stream are that we do build really confident communicators. The teachers work with you um, and develop a wide, develop your skills in communicating 
to a wide range of audiences and you become aware of how your culture and your experience shapes the way that you communicate. And you'll develop this through a range of different um, assessment tasks. So you might be making you know, a short film, writing short stories, radio plays and podcasts. There's a whole range of different ways that you get to express yourself. These are the courses that we offer in the general stream. So you must do the English courses. And then in first semester, you have professional communication and second semester creative communication. You also get to choose four electives from the list of courses below. So three of them in the general program and then two, two maths courses and also two courses from the business program. Now, we all know that English really is the key to your success. And we want to work with you to develop your confidence in using the language. We understand that learning in another language can be really quite challenging at times. And you've got some fantastic teachers who are there to support you and guide you in all your classes. So our teachers take great pride in fostering a really safe learning environment for you where you, we encourage you to ask questions. We encourage you to take risks and make mistakes. You know, mistakes are okay if you, if you learn from them. Good evening, everyone. It's great to be um, here with you tonight. So let's have a look at the science, engineering and health stream. So on our first slide here, you can see the major areas that come in our, our portfolio. So what I'd like to do is just perhaps point out a, a new course with RMIT, and that is one called the Bachelor of, of Space Science. This is a brand new course in Australia teaching space flight operations. So it's, it, we're the only university at the moment teaching such a, a course. So it's a fantastic course and one that you might like to consider when you finish your foundation studies program before moving to the university. So what courses do you study in SEH foundation studies? As well as the core English, you'll do a core maths. Most courses will you will take the advanced maths one and two. It's only some courses in science, IT and health where general maths one and two is required. But in both cases, you'll need to get an average of 60% or, or above to be able to proceed to your bachelor course at the university. My name's Leanne and I'm the team leader for the business stream of foundation studies here at RMIT. Why might you choose to study business? Business incorporates many different fields, accountancy, economics and finance, management and leadership, entrepreneurship, marketing, information system, supply chain and logistics, and of course, international business. With the increase in globalization and continual technological developments, we are now connected with anyone, anytime, any day. But why should you choose Foundation Studies Business at RMIT? Well, our program allows you to explore a variety of discipline areas within the business field. You will study many different areas of business, allowing you time to decide which area you would like to specialise in for your future studies. So what courses might you study in business? Well, we have both core and elective um, units. So as with each of the streams, English is um, a, a course that you take for both semesters and it's a core course. And then you'll study business specific courses Can you 
show me just show me what you're working on hold it up i compiled a couple of things and this is what i got yeah good i All tried right. to do think about um one line only and not get my pen off my marker off mm -hmm. trying to keep it very yep. simple but at the same time yes. i like to look at all the details of like the curves the shading or any of the disconnecting parts so like the okay. screws and the bottle stuff because this is like i use that sanitizer and mm. glue bottle of sriracha that i had yeah i have that in my room <laughs> and i yeah. just compiled it um and yeah Okay. Sounds good. Yes. Yeah, hi Ace. Just uh just pop your video on and show us what you've done. Okay. Uh face break. Yes. Yep. Good. So you got it looks like a computer and um uh, a cup and a notepad and pencil and something else. Is that a lamp? Uh, yes. Yes, yes. good. Good. Yeah. Okay. Some. It looks like a water uh, a water bottle or something like that. Yeah, it's a water mm -hmm. bottle. Mm. Yep. And a, a box and a, a yeah. pen. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah. Nice and simple. Good. I showed you the first uh, one I was doing, and then yep. I'm thinking of making another one, and I mm. just ended up doing that. Yes. I wanted to have a contrast between the negative and, and the positive, so yes. I also wanted to show that it was on a table, and uh, my table has like, a black mat thing on it, so I okay. want to do that. Yep. Um, and I also wanted to show like simplicity still, so I left it to the very basic. I also have a candle on my... Um, mm. uh, uh, what's it called? My desk. And so yes. Yeah. And so yep. Good. No, that's good. Dude. Obviously, the black and white figure grounds yeah. is okay. important in something like this. Two, for these two, they're uh, made out of glass. That's why you mm. this overlaps it. And yep. Yeah. Good one. Okay. Good. Uh, Lin Lindley, are you there? Yes. Hi. I listen to you. You said. Uh, uh, yeah, that's. Yeah. Yep. No, that looks good. Just so everyone else can see what Lindley's done. So yeah, so that's good. That's a good example to just the sim simplicity and the using the figure ground, the white between the black and white areas, the positive and negatives. One Lindley, that's good. Good example. Thank you very much. Come on, yes when you're ready. So, this is my final design. Yeah, great. I yeah. don't know if you can see because there's like a bit of shade. <laughs> no, I, I, I can see it. I'm, I'm sure okay. the other students can see um, it. My design is, the type of face that I've used is Medusa Gothica. And I use this design because it both represents elegance, um, it represents tradition, but at the same time, it represents the allure that Egypt has, not just for tourists, but people that have lived in the country and people that have not lived in the country for long. Um, I didn't I didn't spread it out. I made it right in the center, compact together. And uh, there is a huge contrast between negative and positive space. The negative space, example, the white, represents other people and, and not other people, the space that I have between me and others, the barrier that I have between me and others. And the actual typeface, which is almost like an heirloom, represents me. I'm right in the center, but I don't feel like I'm there. And um, the, this typeface and my design not only represents my emotions towards my country, but it represents my country as a whole and the people that generally live in it. Um, I even asked my mother if she felt the same way, and some, she told me that despite having lived there, she also felt the same way. Um, and yeah. That's, that's my sign. Lovely. Very good. Very confident. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Very good. Yeah, yeah. So I've made you presenter. So, um, yeah, if you want to upload a file or if you've just got something you want to hold. Yeah. So from my uh, hometown city, it's Hamburg. Great. Yeah, um, that's good. So um, five words about my city. It's um, um, Asian, Asian historical. Colorful, 
crowded and motorbike. Um, yeah, and the Taipei that I chose is um, by Chancery, um, which is have like um, syrups, which um, bring the softness and um, Asian feeling, which um, suit uh, the old city, like kind of like 